Okay, so the pulled pork was amazing. We slow cooked it. I got excited about slow cooking, so I'm doing another episode of slow cooking. But I went a little overboard. This isn't a lazy man's episode. This one here, if this isn't good, I'm never making this again. But I, I read this recipe. All the flavors should be amazing together. Where do you see this? And I even went out and bought a brand new slow cooker. I might as well upgrade the one that I have. I have the other one too, but we kind of retired it. And when I need to, I'll bring it out of retirement. Okay, so come on in close. Uh, this is uh, slow cooking brisket, and these flavors better be amazing. And I know, I know what you're saying. Mega ingredients. Look at this. Mega. I don't know what I was thinking. It sounded good on paper. <laughs> I'm telling you, there is so much here. So let me run down. Let me tell you really quick. Let's first talk about the meat. I'm using a chuck roast, okay? Uh, this one costs $8, and I got another. I'm using a lot of meat, so. This one, that was $8 of meat, and this is $10.85. So I've got about $18 in meat, uh, and that was on sale. So the reason why I didn't go with brisket is brisket wasn't on sale where I was shopping. So go with another beef roast, if brisket isn't on sale. If you could do brisket, this is a brisket recipe, but I'm using a chuck roast, kind of more of a pot roast, okay? So, now that we clarified that, let's run down. What do we got here? Got paprika. We have beer. That's right, this is for my, all my Aussie friends. Foster's beer. You don't have to use beer, trust me. You can leave it out, but I think it's gonna help the flavor of this. And the alcohol will cook out, so don't worry about alcohol. You're gonna be cooking this thing for about eight hours. You got uh, spicy gray poupon, any kind of um, Dijon type mustard. You got stewed tomatoes. You got tomato paste. You got soy sauce. You got a bunch of cloves of garlic that are peeled and ready to be cut up. You got onions, bay leaves, red wine vinegar right here. It's not red wine, but it's red wine vinegar, okay? Celery, vegetable oil. Look at this, dark brown sugar. Molasses, is that crazy, huh? Beef broth, and then just for flavor, if this isn't enough, a little bit of fresh crushed salt and pepper. So, we're gonna start putting this all together, but first, let me prepare all my ingredients like I always do. We're gonna get it all laid out, and then we'll start throwing it together. Okay, I know it looks crazy, but let me tell you something. When you take all these flavors, I'm talking the tomatoes, and the beef stock, and the beer, and the red wine vinegar, deli mustard, brown uh, sugar, I mean, you got the, the soy sauce, the molasses, the paprika, the garlic, the bay leaves, the oil, the onions, the celery, on the meat, and you slow cook this all day long, that's exciting. That's the only time, like chilies and stews and soups and that kind of stuff, when I like a lot of ingredients. Okay, so now it's time to start processing. Really quick, uh, you guys are like, oh, where do you get these little glass bowls? Some of you have asked where I get my little glass bowls. I got these... I got these right here, these, these big ones, three for a dollar, no lie, at the dollar store. Check the dollar store kitchen section, okay? You can get these dirt cheap, these little glass bowls. They're great to lay out your ingredients. I got these at Walmart for a dollar. I got four for a dollar on these bowls here. So it doesn't cost a lot to be organized and cook well. Now, let's get this started. We're gonna start browning the meat. So get your oil in the pan. If you need more oil, put it in. Just kind of eyeballing it. Okay, and we're gonna brown the outside of all the meat first. Grab yourself your uh, fresh salt. Take your pepper and do the same. Now I've been told this thing that I just bought breaks easily, so we're gonna keep using it until it breaks. Place the seasoned side down, like so. And while it's on the uh, on the sizzle, hit the other side. And be sure to flip it and get the other side. Look how well this side browns, really nice. I'm gonna hit the other side even harder. It's a pretty big piece of meat, so you're looking at about six pounds of meat. If you get a thick cut of meat, you're gonna need to put it on its side, so please. There are four sides to meat if it's thick, so don't be afraid to brown all sides, okay? 
All right, now it's time to take the meat out. Come on, baby. You can do it. It's like pulling in fish. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now we're doing the onions. You're going to soften these. In the last two minutes, you're going to throw the garlic in, okay? Once they're almost done, go grab your garlic. Throw your garlic in there, too. Get that all mixed in. All right, so... Take this out, throw it in a bowl, put that off to the side for now. Okay, now you're bringing over your liquids, your beer, and your beef broth. It's gonna totally deglaze the pan there. Gonna get all the goodness off the pan with this. Okay, now here's the balance of the ingredients. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix these all together. I'm gonna throw them in here I'm gonna throw them in here, and I'm gonna mix everything together before I pour it into the slow cooker, okay? So get your, uh, your caramelized onions and your sauteed garlic, and that's the bowl you're gonna throw everything in. There we go. Soy sauce, molasses, your bay leaves. Just go ahead and mix that all good together first. Then we're going to get it in with the meat. I can't explain the flavors that are banging together in there. Unbelievable. Okay, the last thing, get your more vegetables in. Get that, that celery. Everything's optional. If you're not a celery person, fine. But if you are, this is gonna be, this will be awesome. All right, so here's, here's the meat here. Put one piece there, one piece there. There you go. Okay, remember the beer and the broth? that we sauteed all the onion bits out. There you go. And then all the goodness. Right in there. Look at that. That's crazy. Wow. Unbelievable smell. All right, what's the first thing I smell? I smell the soy sauce. I smell the beer. I smell the, oh man, I smell the onions. The caramelized onions are amazing. Just kind of push everything down and get it all along the sides. Okay, and there you go. Make sure all your meat is submerged. Now, cover this up. And we are going to cook this for eight hours. That's right. Let's see what happens. Are right, you ready to take a look? Eight hours later, it's been there. Look at, it's been unplugged. That's so crazy. It's been unplugged for about 10 minutes now. And look, it's still simmering in there. Isn't that crazy? Put that over here. And that meat has been just tenderizing. Oh, and the molasses and the beer and the, oh, wow. Red wine vinegar. The ingredients are just to die for. Let's give you an idea how tender it is. This is what's great about slow cooking. You could take a cheap piece of chuck and make it a gourmet watch. Look at that. Absolutely. Whoop. Just lift it up and pull. The meat comes right off. Crazy, huh? That's just beautiful. Okay, now I'm really curious on, I've never cooked with beer. Uh, my wife says it's a great tenderizer, adds a little kick to it. So I'm really curious if I can, I can smell the molasses. That's pretty strong. Oh, it smells good. Mmm. Oh, wow. This is, wow, I'm sorry. 
Did I just shoot across the kitchen? Wow, excuse me. This is very rich tasting. Though all those flavors, this tastes like a piece of meat that you would get in a restaurant and ask how did they prepare it. It is so tender and so flavorful. I didn't plan for it to be this good. I did not. Everything came together great. It was worth all the ingredients. Would I make this again? It was a lot of prep work, but then I walked away. It cooked all day. I might take some of the ingredients out. I may shortcut it. I may put a lazy version to it. But yeah, would I make this again? This, it's very rich, very delicious. So much going on in my mouth right now. If you try this, put it on our Facebook page, please. Try this out. There it is. It's slow cooked brisket. I use Chuck for this episode. Use any meat you want. You guys take care, and I'll see you on the next Cooking with Jack, okay? Take care.